Good morning everybody, this is Suzanne from Palsite, Iraq, here with you guys and today we are here in one of the uh, villages called Bokus in um, Kurdistan, Iraq and we are, as you guys can see behind me, we are distributing food packs on the refugees uh, who are living outside of the camp um, uh, I just want to share some information with you guys that um, these people have been living outside of the camp for a couple years now and the reasons why reasons why many of you guys might ask me why they live outside of the camp where there is camps but when uh, these people came here the camps were already full so um, and some of the camp also late years later got closed so they had to live outside of the camp um, so uh, they're living some of them on unfinished buildings uh, some of them are living in houses like this let me just show you guys so this is a house inside of there um, these are the houses they're living in and um, Many of you might not know, but 70% uh, of refugees uh, and displaced people are living outside of the camp. Only 30% are living inside of the camp. And we have 1.1 uh, million uh, refugees and IDPs here. So imagine how many people are living outside of the camp. And this is one of the reasons why Hulsa Aid focus on the people who are living outside of the camp we were working inside we still work inside and outside of the camp but we mainly focus on the ones who are living outside of the camp because uh, those who are outside the camp not many uh, NGOs visit them and they don't receive much aid because each one of them is somewhere it's very very difficult to identify their place um, and also registration is a bit difficult um, so usually um, it's easier to go inside of the camp and give aid than going outside of the camp and give aid to the refugees. So um, I just want to give a big thank you to everybody who has donated toward this project. <laughs> So we've got the ladies here and the men's here coming to receive their food pack. Uh, the food pack that we have, it's a contained of um, five kilos of rice, burger, and we've got um, oil, we've got tomato paste, salt, sugar, uh, flour in there. Um, that would probably last them for a couple of weeks. So. I want to give a big thank you for Hulsaid USA and Hulsaid Canada for supporting this project. Uh, without your support, this wouldn't be possible. We are distributing 2,000 food packs on the refugees who are living outside of the camp. Um, so, so we've got refugees from Syria. We've got refugees from Turkey. We've got refugees from Iran as well. And these are, um, so these were the Kurdish people who are living, um, in, who are living in Iran, who are living in Turkey, living in Syria. But because of the war, uh, they had to come, uh, come to uh, live in Kurdistan, Iraq. So. Um, some of these people have been here for many, many, many years and they are still unable to go back to their places because of the unsafety. First, because of the identity uh, being just Kurds. Um, and second is that uh, it's just they don't have uh, any place left there and they don't have families left there. So um, they're just staying here. So we've got the list here. Uh, everyone, we got them registered. Uh, before, there was um, 
So we've got ladies here. It's freezing cold today. Um, and also a couple of days ago, we were able to um, distribute uh, 5,000 blankets in Shingal. Many of you guys might not know where Shingal is. Shingal is where was the uh, uh, city that the Yazidi community, uh, most of the Yazidi uh, um, community lived in. And they were attacked by ISIS and they were they left their homes and came here. So they're slowly, slowly going back to their places. And uh, they were in huge need of blanket because it's very cold, uh, especially it's a mountain area. And some of the areas are just raw, like it's very open. So it, it stays cold for a long time. So we've distributed 5,000 blankets. Thanks to you guys and thanks to your donations. Um, many people were happy. Some of the families, uh, uh, some families were here and the relatives were there. Um, even the families here yesterday when we visited, they were like, oh, we saw you guys distributing uh, blankets in our villages. Thank you so much. They, they were so grateful for it. So hearing that thing, um, hearing these words, um, may realize how important that blanket was. For many of us might not be a thing, but for them was a huge impact. So please keep your support going for the refugees and IDPs in Iraq, Kurdistan, um, because there's many of them here and not many NGOs are left to work here. So please keep your donation going. There is a link in this description. You can click on it and you can donate as much as you can. Or the least you can do is share this video with your loved and uh, friends so they would know about what is going on. So we've got the JCC team with us as well, thanks to their coordination with us. So we've got the list of the name here, and then people come and then they receive their pack. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you share their video with your friends and family so they would know more about what is going on. Thank you.